guys and welcome to my hot girl summer habits so this summer it's not about looking a certain way you don't need to look like a hot girl even though every girl's a hot girl but it's just about doing things that make you feel good and for me that's number one starting with getting outside so you can either go for a walk go for a run go for a jog go for a cycle anything to just get you outside that look at these beautiful views that i would not be able to see from my room i just love breathing in the fresh air seeing the blue skies, even when it's raining, it's just nice and refreshing to get outside. It's a good time to just check in with you. Then staying hydrated. It's so much better for your body to just be drinking enough water. Everybody substitutes water with their favourite drinks, coffee, juices, when really we just need to drink water. It makes you feel so much better. Then taking vitamins. So I know not everybody needs to take vitamins, but for me, I'm vegetarian, so it's really important that I'm taking vitamins every day. And I forget So I've been trying to incorporate taking my vitamins into part of my morning routine every single day. I've got no excuses. It's summer. I don't have many responsibilities. So this is one thing I can do for myself every morning. And I take them with water. So at least I know I'm getting a cup in every day. Then I try to look after my skin as much as I can. Over the summer, I have lots of no makeup days. I like to let my skin breathe when it's hot. And I feel much more comfortable and confident in my skin when it's looking good. And I know I'm looking after it. So along with drinking lots of water, having a good diet, I also use quite a lot of good skincare products, including a lot of these Drunk Elephant products I'm using. I just really think it's good to look after your skin and I don't mind spending a little bit of extra money and a little bit of extra time to really make sure that I'm looking after my skin. I've gone in with a hydrating serum and I'm now going in with an oil. I just really find that I like my skin to look hydrated but not be too heavy. I don't use very heavy products on my skin, they're all quite lightweight and that's especially good for the summertime when you're already dealing with the climate. Another big tip is don't forget your neck. I just always make sure that any products I'm putting on my face I also put on my neck but I know that's not for everybody. I also have been making sure that I moisturise morning and night as well as using eye cream morning and night. I used to only use eye cream at night but now I use it in the morning. This one's a Sephora dull eye one. I wake up in the morning, I often have quite puffy eyes or dark under eyes, so I find using this really combats that. Then I'm going in with my gua sha. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's this sculpting tool. I know you can get lots of different ones, but the one I'm using is a crystal one. I know you can get plastic ones, metal ones, I guess it's just whatever you'd prefer to use. Mine doesn't feel too harsh on my skin. I know some people say that it feels like it's dragging on your skin. I think as long as you use lots of product underneath, it should be fine. This is basically a sculpting tool, it's supposed to sculpt out your jawline, your cheekbones, I'm using it on my neck. I just like it, I think it's a fun little ritual to do morning and night. I know some people would say it does absolutely nothing, but I enjoy doing it, it feels like I'm doing something for myself. I don't know. Then I go in with a lip balm, I moisturise my lips so much, I hate the feeling of dry lips. I also think especially in summer, use SPF lip balm, you don't want to be getting burnt lips. Alongside that, I also wear SPF every single day. I'm a way to go in with a SPF 30 sun cream. I just think it's really important to protect your skin. Another thing is, remember, so that day I was wearing braids and I always now put sun cream down the middle of my parting because the amount of times that my scalp has got burnt is ridiculous. So not only do you need to put sun cream on your face, also remember that if you've got your hairline showing. And I also love a face mask. Look how happy I look. I just love choosing face masks, putting them on, taking them off. I really enjoy the process. I just feel like every good self-care day starts with a face mask on my face. I don't know. I don't know what the exact skin benefits are. They feel good on my face and I feel like they make a difference. But I know some people say that face masks aren't the route to go down. I don't know. I just think it feels nice that I'm doing something almost excessive for my skin. I don't know, I just like incorporating it into my weekly skincare routine. They're definitely not a daily thing, but on a Sunday, there's nothing better than putting a face mask on. Okay, and then always having a book on the go. You know how I feel about books. I love reading. I do like to always have a book on the go. And I think if you're somebody that struggles to read, then every time you finish a book, picking out a new book to read straight away will keep you always reading because it's when you have to choose between books and think, oh, what book should I read, blah, blah, blah. If you just always have a book on the go, you're always going to be reading. It's going to be a habit that you keep going to every single day. I genuinely read every single day now. There's not a day I don't. 
Then journaling. Journaling is another thing that I incorporate into my daily routine, morning and night. I use a five minute journal every single morning and it focuses a lot around gratitude. You say three things you're grateful for that day, three things you want to happen that day, daily affirmations. And I find it really positive because none of my affirmations are ever negative. They're always just so positive and there's a little quote every day. It's just really nice. And then at night you check in, say things that have happened that day, things you wish you could have done differently. I just think it's a great way to reflect on your day. And then last but not least, exercising. I just think moving your body does make you feel a lot better physically and mentally. I definitely think everything they've been saying for years about exercising, letting off endorphins and the happy chemicals, it's true. I always feel so much better after a workout and I know that's not groundbreaking, but it was for me when I first started working out. But yeah, that's the last of my hot girl summer habits. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope you pick some of these up. So thank you very much for watching.